Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for this 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 14th of July. And uh, we'll be able to extend out beyond that with Ascension Affairs and ECM Ensembles. May run to around a couple of weeks. Have a look at Surface V2 at the end of the video for August. And I'll get on that for you in a moment. To say that first, a video today is our 6 8 UK weather forecast. And we'll also release Jeremy Friday. Check out both two vids. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank so, so everyone, for doing that for Dallas Weather, thank you so much, everyone. Right, gonna start off with the latest wind from that from EarthNostool.net. So, we've got low pressure double off and high pressure to the south. It's low pressure bringing in some uh, rain and a fresher feel to the north of the country. But high pressure in the south is also keeping the south mainly dry. There will be some rain pushing through tonight, and the breeze will be showery bursts over the weekend. But then next week, the trend will be towards that uh, ridge of the Azores High building back in yet again. Very, very rich EV source high this, uh, this summer. Uh, Central temperature is now at 20.1. That's 4.1 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average provisional to the uh, second. I'm actually going to carry on coming down. Could well start rising again, though, next week. This is the reason why. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks. Looking at Norwich today, the red lines are 30 year upper air temperature as your Norwich. So at the moment, we're not deviating too far from long term 30 year averages, averages, I should say. But it's even a bit above average next day or so, and then a bit below average uh, early next week. But after that, the upper air temperatures really start taking up, taking off. We've got a definite warming trend here through the second week of July and into the second half of the month. Peak seems to be sometime around the 13th, 14th, 15th, when, uh, again, got a lot of ensemble members there going up to 20 degrees of, uh, to 815 HPA. That is very hot air being drawn up from the south. This could well be a heat wave, but we're setting up in the second week of July. Same pretty warm into the second half of the month as well. Not that much of a clearly defined cool down. So that could be like a week, maybe 10 days of hot or very hot weather. Uh, Precipitation-wise, so some showery bursts, I say, coming up over the uh, weekend. Then lots of dry weather through the second week of the month. Might turn a little bit more showering second half of the month. Of course, that's a long way off extended range. Therefore, it's unreliable. Temperature anomalies are going to be close to average in the next five days, but check out the 10 to 14 day temperature. Only then we have a much more clearly defined uh, warming trend. Precipitation normally the next seven days, 7th of July, largely drier than normal, staying largely drier than normal out to the 20th of July in the 10 to 16 day time frame. Right, let's start going for chart day to end. Miss Avalanche, you came out. You're a Rose looking for midnight on uh, Monday, and we've got uh, low pressure. Out to our west, high pressures to the east. Winds are coming in from a northwesterly direction. In Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, high pressure strengthening from the southwest. So turning drier and warmer as we move through uh, next week. I can't again, those northwesterly winds bring in some cooler and more showery conditions into the middle of next week. Again, high pressure strengthening to the south from the uh, Azores. Not setting up a heat wave with icon to the end of next week, but certainly a strengthening of the ridge from the Azores. Trying to move up towards Scandinavia, turning drier and warmer as next week progresses. Uh, this is how KMA is looking. Again, strengthening that ridge from the Azores through the um, middle and second half next week. Then the high pressure sort of slips over towards the east of the country and get through to about the 12th of July. That starts to pull up a hot southerly wind and we get a thundery low then heading up from the south. So hot and thundery but not really clearing things and so by the time we get through to 16th of July the Azores High is bridging back in. Uh, again a lot of dry warm and at times hot weather there with the uh, KMA. Now check out the uh, two GFS runs that I've had so far today. Starting off with the Midnight run. The gathering most northwesterly winds on Monday and Tuesday, nice and fresh, but through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, high pressure strengthens from the Azores, turning mostly dry warm or very warm to hot. Up comes plus 15 Celsius ice firm air by Saturday, the 12th of July. Staying hot into Sunday, the 13th as well. In fact, getting hotter, plus 20 Celsius ice firm moving up from uh, France. So, very warm, hot conditions 
continue as we move into the middle part of the month plus 20 Celsius iceberg begin to move towards the low countries there is something a little bit fresher choice to come in from off the Atlantic but to be honest it's a prolonged spell of very warm hot weather that we've got here big ridge on the Azores up to northern uh, Europe when you see those sort of charts it tells you about a prolonged heat wave hot long hot spell could be setting in even up to the 20th of July looking very warm to hot with those upper air temperatures these are the maximum temperature forecast this maximum temperature forecast I should say from that GFS midnight run for Saturday the 12th of July a widespread temperature being predicted there from GFS up to 35 36 degrees that's into the upper 90s Fahrenheit so certainly the 13th gets up to 37 in the east of the southeast that's about 99 Fahrenheit Begins to cool down a bit in the west. Remember, that's a long way off, so might, might not verify, probably won't verify to that extremity. But it is a bit of a signal, I think, but um, it could be setting up a heat wave here uh, starting later next week. And then GFS 6 there, we'll check this out. Again, high pressure building up from the southwest through Wednesday, first Friday. High pressure over to the east of the country into the weekend of the 12th, 13th of July. Hot air is being drawn up from the south once again. It's a melting pot of heat and humidity. Check out how far north plus 20 cells ice worm is getting there on Sunday, 13th of July, covering many parts of England and Wales, actually, and carrying on into uh, Monday, the 14th as well. Prolonged hot spell here uh, from the uh, GFS 6. It begins to cool down a little bit into the second half of the month. Still very warm to hot, really. The only difference is we start to pull the air in from more of an easterly direction. And that has the effect of lowering a bit the upper air temperature. So we turn to slightly more comfortable positions. But still very warm, probably still into the uh, low 30 Celsius with that. Now check out the temperature forecast of the GFS. FS6 then. Maximum temperature Saturday the 12th of July, widely up to 37, 38 degrees. 38 is about 100 Fahrenheit. And this, everyone, is Sunday the 13th. And there you see it GFS 6 Z operational run hitting 40 degrees through central England and down towards the Midlands as well. Don't take that. Literally, very unlikely, but we'll get to 40 degrees. But I remember saying this in 2022 um, when uh, a GFS run turned up hitting 40 degrees at 384 hours. This is like only 225 hours away, still quite a long way off. But like uh, back in 2022, a GFS run turned up and predicted 40 degrees at 384 hours. And I say it's not going to happen, don't worry about it, just showing chart for posterity. And what you know, it did in fact verify. Um, um, now, will history repeat? We'll see. But again, it is probably a signal that uh, the second week of July up to the middle of the month could well turn hot. Even if we don't hit 40 degrees, which we probably won't, um, it still looks pretty, uh, you know, like a, a, a heat wave is setting up there. Uh, okay, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Watch off, comment, let's know. What do you think about this and all of our videos and content? Don't forget to tell friends back down. Please get to subscribe too. And show you everyone for uh, doing that. In a bit of a rush, I'm going to go and do a second job uh, very shortly. So let's crack on. GM, again, with winds in from the northwest on Monday. Cool and showery, then high pressure ridging up from the southwest through the rest of next week, turning ever drier, warmer, and hotter through next week. Plus 15 cells ice perm is surging northwards. That's how we get to day 10. High pressure well and truly in control. In the ascendancy, lots of dry, warm weather uh, could be quite hot. And then the ECM rounds it all off again with those northwesterly winds on Monday and Tuesday. Nice and fresh start to next week. But uh, through next week, high pressure again, strengthening to the south, turning things drier and warmer. So a little bit more unsettled with the ECM away to the northwest. That has been a trend compared to all the other model output. The ECM is the one that always looks a little bit more uh, uh, mixed, let's say, for the north anyway. Uh, this summer. That's day 10, so hot air is in across England and Wales, but we've not got plus 20 Celsius. I swear, I'm nowhere near as extreme with the ECM as like we've seen from the GFS. In more extended range, it turns quite thundery and does have a go at pulling the plus 20 Celsius. I swear, I mean, from the east, interestingly, I'm not sure what the uh, upshot of that would be. Probably to bring a lot of uh, thunderstorms in from the east, maybe. 
and we end up with a voluntary trial over the country. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibet.com. So, showery conditions through the next day or two. Make the most of them, if that's what you want for your garden. Because we're trained that next week is a drying one, especially so down in the south. Will still be some showery bursts, perhaps up in the north. That's day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble Day 4, day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office, gets us to 14th drive. 34 members of the ECM Ensemble High Press, just for South low pressure away to the northwest jet stream pushing north was mostly dry and warm very warm I'm quite hot myself and 17 with high pressure over to the east of the country that's going to be bringing up more a de 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 definitely defined but your teeth in gap more definitively defined is that what you're saying um anyway you know what i mean that's uh, going to be bringing up more more of a southerly flow that could be even hotter week uh, i mean two weeks out these are the actual guy gets 19th dry 21 members of the east of the with high pressure right over top of the country. 16 with high pressure all Scandinavia. Winds coming up from hot south east direction. And 14 with high pressure just to the north. Mostly dry and very warm. All options appear to be pointing towards a heat wave. Potentially sometime around the middle part of the month. Finally, the CFS for August. Now, remember your charts change daily. Today's 700 millibar height anomaly actually looks a little bit mixed at August. So, got a mid Atlantic ridge there of a 700 millibar height and some sort of trough to the east of Scotland. And that will bring the wind into more of a northwesterly. So, that can actually be rather cool and showery. Of course, a lot of summers, it does tend to be August that lets the side down. <laughs> so, we'll see. Uh, temperature normally a little bit above average in the south and no signal for precipitation. Not at all sure about that. But as I say, August does tend to be the month in recent summers anyway. Um, 2022 aside, but it does tend to uh, let the side down a little bit. We'll see. I'm sure that will change several times before we get to August. Right, we're done. If you have enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's say what you think about this and all our videos content. Don't forget to tell your friends about guys. Always get to subscribe to. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Tomorrow, we have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, but it will be a, a 10 to 14 day out as well. Epic day coming up on Sunday. Don't forget, we've got the uh, winter 2025-26 NEO forecast premiere at 2 p.m. on Sunday. And I'll be live on Sunday evening at 6 p.m. discussing the NEO forecast. Doing a 10 14 day out. And uh, well, I'm sure we'll show some long range in that as well. So Sunday's going to be a pretty epic day at Gav's or wherever it is. It's my late mum's, my lovely mum's um, uh, uh, heavenly birthday as well on Sunday. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Okay, well, we'll end it there. You enjoy the rest of your uh, Friday. And for this one, though, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.